Hello and welcome everyone to the Pride of India show. We have today with us Nilesh Malani, CMO of Polycab India. Polycab is engaged in the business of manufacturing wires, cables, electric fans, LED lights, switches, solar products, and many other accessories. Incorporated as a small shop 60 years ago by Mumbai-based Jaisinghani family, which has migrated from Pakistan, the company's current market cap is rupees 35,000 crores. Welcome to the show, Mr. Malani. Thank you. Thank you, Kanjan. Lovely to have you here. Mr. Malani, please take us through the inception of Polycab as a brand. Uh, so uh, this all started in the year 1968, you know, eight, wherein uh, uh, with the death of the, uh, you know, father, the four brothers, the Jai Singhani families came together mm-hmm. and you know, uh, started a small shop uh, in uh, Lohar Chal of Mumbai. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is, and it was a very small 200 square feet shop where they were selling the electrical goods. Mm-hmm. And from there, the journey began, uh, you know, in terms of uh, how they brought uh, this entire business acumen to such a big business. Uh, later on in 1975, uh, you know, they, they opened up a small uh, factory in uh, Dehri, MIDC. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and, you know, started manufacturing cables and wires. So while they were, you know, learning, they, you know, gradually started the man- manufacturing process. Mm-hmm. And then they slowly scaled it up and bought another, you know, land in Halol and, you know, created another factory out there and scaled up the entire business of cables and wires. Mm -hmm. In the year 1996, uh, you know, uh, the the brand Polycap got, you know, established Mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's, it's 25 years now uh, with the brand. in 90, uh, so in the 2019, we got listed uh, uh, as a as a brand uh, on stock exchange, mm-hmm. and that's how the journey has been overall. So today we we have close to more than uh, you know one lakh sixty five thousand retailers, uh, more than four thousand distributors across the country, and we we sell and export to more than hundred countries globally. That's really great. Um, what were the major challenges when you know that that Polycap faced in the beginning? Uh, I think uh, you know, uh, on the, in those years, uh, the industry was very unorganized, and you know, uh, I think the family really struggled uh, because uh, uh, the capital was limited, the resources were limited, the manpower was limited. I think uh, the family really worked hard, you know, establishing that relationship uh, with the trade. Okay. And uh, the most important bit was that they had to leave their education and, you know, come to the business. And uh, the learning on the job is very difficult and, you know, getting the nuances of the product which they want to manufacture, uh, how to sell, where to sell, all those things came on the job. And I would say that was the most difficult part and phase uh, in the beginning of Polycam. Uh, where the initial years just went into, you know, understanding how to manufacture, where to sell, what to sell, and, you know, what kind of quality to make. And, you know, uh, the way, you know, the infrastructure, uh, you know, uh, was there that time, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, in terms of logistics challenges, traveling. So there was not enough infrastructure in those days. Mm -hmm. Uh, So all these hurdles, I think the family, you know, kind of had to uh, withstand those issues and challenges mm-hmm. and then come to the position where they are. Mm-hmm. And of course, investment, I guess. I mean, could you... Of course, investment, yeah. The, big thing, so, the initial investors. So, and... Yeah, so we, we didn't have any initial investors in the journey and it was all organic and homegrown. Mm-hmm. So they, they, they earned from the business and they reinvested in the business. Mm-hmm. So that was big things which uh, you know the the family did mm-hmm. and how has been the business journey uh, of polycap mm-hmm. so uh, in the current context i think uh, you know on year on year uh, in if you see our track record in the last five years we have been growing very handsomely uh, uh, whether in terms of uh, uh, over the top line the bottom line as well as market share uh, we are kind of you know uh, establishing our leadership position in the cables and wires segment 
at the same time strengthening our position in the fmg sector mm-hmm. uh, and uh, looking at the way you know in last 6 uh, years we have grown in fmg uh, year on year with more than you know uh, 30 to 40 percent cagr it's and gaining share uh, from competitors the journey is uh, going excellent uh, the the future plans of course you know very very strong uh, so overall things are looking very bullish and uh, great how is the fmg sector in india evolved over the last 25 years since your brand you know took shape so we are we are a very new player in the fmg category uh, you know uh, it's been just 6 years and uh, uh, we we have gone ahead with leveraging our strength on technology uh, and our in house manufacturing capabilities mm-hmm. uh, the most important thing is if you see the last 6 years journey for polycap has been very very interesting we uh, while we were uh, you know good in always uh, uh, manufacturing of cables and wires Uh, and then when we took those products to the market our relationship with the trade and uh, the network was one of the big pillars for succeeding in the fmg sector uh, uh, we leveraged that association and then uh, we have we, uh, we have inbuilt our uh, in house capability whether it is fans leds <coughs> switches or switch gears all the manufacturing capabilities are in house that gives us a competitive advantage uh to basically uh, you know give the best products a uh, technologically high end products to the consumers at the same time uh, ensuring that you know uh, we are always upping our game in the market in terms of advancements in technology mm-hmm. so whether it is r and d whether it is innovation we are bringing the best products in the market and which are in line with the consumer demand today if you see uh, the journey which which you asked about last 25 years uh those were the days where we had you know regular uh, bulbs and tube lights today the entire you know system in last 5 7 years has shifted to leds you know people are now seeking basically uh, designer lights uh they want lights which are smart in terms of sensor based lights uh they want uh, you know iot products in their home where you can operate the home from anywhere any part of the world on your phone so newer technology technologies are coming in uh, newer uh, you know uh, so consumers have more disposable income they want to you know make their house better earlier the focus only was on aesthetics today the focus is aesthetics plus technology together and this is wherein you know we bring in uh, our new product called uh, you know hohm which is home for it's it's a part of the smart automation uh, category wherein uh, you can control the entire house with a click of a button on phone whether it is a light whether it is a fan whether it is a curtain whether it is uh, you know uh, uh, door locks which are uh, you know uh, security door locks cctv cameras everything can be controlled by phone and you can control those things from wherever you are so uh, such is a technology uh, you know which is there Uh, when you see, uh, you know what we see going forward is uh, within the fans uh, technology. Today, if you see, the problem is that consumers think fan doesn't require much, you know, uh, energy, mm-hmm. and they think it's a, you know, it doesn't cost much to, you know, even if the fan is running, people are not really bothered. If if the television is on, they will definitely switch off. But if fan is running, they are they are okay with it, mm-hmm. even if it is not used. so energy conservation is doesn't come in mind when the fan is still running but uh, they would be surprised to know that uh, a single fan in a single room if it is it operates for close to 15 hours a day uh, it consumes approximately 200 rupees worth of energy which is big so uh, polycap you know is uh, has introduced uh, bldc fans polycap bldc fans which are energy saving fans which saves up to 60% of electricity mm-hmm. you know uh, so the way revolution had come in led where the entire you know ecosystem got changed from a regular earlier cfl bulbs to leds similar revolution we anticipate to uh, will happen in the fans category 
where consumers would be okay to shell out a little more for a good quality product but in the long term you know so normally uh, a life cycle of a fan is anywhere between 5 to 7 years people go on for aesthetics and color change and you know they redo their houses or renovate their houses or buy a new house so within that 5 to 7 years actually if you buy a bldc fan it is basically you know within 2 years you get back your money back in terms of savings in electricity so these are new concepts the the motor is getting changed from electrical to electronics so a lot of changes are happening and uh, polycab as a brand is now you know educating our trade partners our electricians our uh, consumers in terms of uh, you know uh, how they, they can benefit through these changes okay. so fmeg is going into a huge transition the way the products are getting sold Uh, so e-commerce is becoming extremely important uh, if you see over 6 years uh, you know we have built overall category of close to 1500 crores mm-hmm. within fmg where we were not present at all so the business is looking by on and uh, we are going strength by strength every year it's great to know that uh, polycarb is focusing a lot on greener technology uh, so what are your thoughts on leadership and marketing uh, uh i think the analogy of uh, good leadership and strong marketing strategy is essential to become a market leader yeah so uh, and with polycab india we have you know redefined our entire marketing approach and strategy wherein our focus is on uh, consumers our focus is on uh, you know influencer segment because influencers play a very very important role in terms of advocacy of the brand uh while players are commoditizing the market where you, whether you see the retail you know uh, wire segment where uh, you know the, the 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 entire category is trying to shift towards commodity but polycab is you know innovating in that segment as well mm-hmm. you know uh, what we are trying to do is bring more better products to the consumers which basically is in line with sustainable products this is in line with you know ensuring the products are safe secured for longer term and they are you know kind of uh, they give more value for money so uh, and we believe that uh, only the leaders can do this mm-hmm. wherein they will bring in more technology they will bring more premium quality products which gives more value so today consumers are not seeking for cheaper products mm-hmm. okay they are seeking for value for money what will give value to me and uh, for example we recently launched a product called polycap green buyers uh and uh, when we started our you know entire consumer communication build uh, today within the like last one year our sales have grown 4x so there are buyers there are takers for green buyers mm-hmm. uh, which is uh, almost 20% premium to the you know uh, the normal regular category which is more commoditized so people are ready to pay the premium it's all about leaders to basically innovate more give consumers a solution to a problem or maybe you know identify that need gap which consumers has today and you know kind of give them the solution for that need gap and they are more ready to pay until the time they get value second bit is what we did is uh, you know uh, created uh, a digital experience while consumers today you know are more uh, technology savvy they can you know uh, serve the internet and you know go through various products and compare products uh, what's available online what we have created is a new concept of uh, polycap galleria so this store basically is a experience store uh, we have already opened in uh, close to eight cities in the country uh, and uh, there is another model which we have created is called polycap arena which is our you know Uh, uh distributor or retailer own model which are exclusive polycap stores where you can experience the product and uh, the material will be shipped to your houses mm-hmm. uh, you can select the product online and go and there and check the product quality and everything will be shipped to your house so we are creating those experiences wherein it is not just about uh you know the price is the only game it's more about how do we differentiate ourselves from the competitors how do we bring more value to the consumers how we are seen as more sustainable brand mm-hmm. 
What are your plans for the future? Uh, I think what we have done is uh, over last one, one and a half years, we have got, uh, you know, our strategy in place. Uh, and uh, that strategy is all about, uh, you know, how do we, uh, you know, up our game in the FMEG sector to be uh, among the most leading FMEG player. How do we consolidate our leadership position in the cables and wires business? I think these are two strong, uh, you know, objectives uh, which we have, you know, created. And uh, the strategy is basically to strengthen the brand proposition, uh, have more digitization across within the organization and outside world. So digitization is one big piece which we are kind of, uh, you know, focusing upon. The third aspect is the entire, you know, uh, we want to be a talent magnet uh, in the global world. And uh, we are strengthening our, you know, overall uh, uh, talent uh, 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 hunt uh, in terms of getting more uh, better talent to ensure that uh, whatever work we do is more consumer centric. It's it's more, uh, you know, technology friendly. It's more sustainable, uh, and it's able to deliver value to the uh, consumer and the influencer. So we are working in all these directions and uh, our aim is by 2000 FY26, uh, we are aiming to be a 20,000 crore business overall. Mm -hmm. So my last question is, are you planning to acquire uh, your competitors? I, I, I suppose you already share 22% of the market there, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think that's that plan is always on. We will be, you know, keeping the hawk's eye in terms of uh, what what makes sense for our business, uh, what what really gives us value. Uh, so recently, if you are aware, uh, last year we acquired uh, Sylvan Technologies, uh, uh, and uh, those are into smart automation, and it's 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 a good uh, you know in sync with what we want to you know uh, proceed ahead with. Uh, what is in line with the business thought. Uh, so, and we see the consumers will get evolved in a smart home technology uh, much uh, sooner than later. And that was a very, very right fit for us in terms of acquiring Sylvan because it gives us opportunity to have a technology platform uh, which supports you know, our products. Uh, and that was a good acquisition. Similarly, I think in future, whenever such opportunities come, we will be, we will be open to Thank you, Mr. Mlani. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you, Kanchan. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you.